Hey guys, what's up? This is Travis Lima from Yoohoo Plugins and today I want to show you how you can create, manage and update WordPress users using a Google spreadsheet and our WP Zapier add-on. Now, if you do not know about our add-on, as you can see here, we have developed WP Zapier and this allows you to connect your WordPress site with Zapier and specifically manage some user focused data. Now, in order to get started, you're going to want to set up a Google Spreadsheets and over here you can see I have my manage WP users document ready to go and I have already filled in a couple of columns and I'll get into that in a moment. Secondly, I have a test site and I already have my WP Zapier add-on installed and activated. Now, once it's activated, you'll notice under the settings option in your WordPress dashboard, you should notice a Zapier settings. And I just want to run this, run through this real quick. So over here, you have your send data to Zapier options. You have your receive data from Zapier and your license settings. And we are going to work quite a bit with our receive data from Zapier settings and specifically our webhook URL. So you can just take note of that. You can find yours over here in this settings section. And um, with this add-on, I also want to highlight the available actions that you can do. We have a list here so you can create users, you can update users, and you can delete users. And these are the variables that you can use it with. So if you remember from my Google spreadsheet, I already have the email, new email, first name, last name, role, and I've left out the user metadata for now. Secondly, I just want to show you what my users look like at the moment. I only have Andrew and we're going to change that now. So once you're on your sheet, you, you're going to want to go ahead and actually just create a user. So let's go and add myself. And I'm going to leave this new email field open for now and I'll come back to that in a moment and you'll see what we're going to do there. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a zap and connect our spreadsheet to our WordPress website. So you're going to want to go ahead and just click on create a zap and you're going to go and choose Google Sheets. Now you're going to select a trigger. I'm going to select new or updated spreadsheet row. You can also select the new spreadsheet row if you want. Okay, so at this point, you I'm going to connect my Google account, but if you haven't done this yet, you can just go and connect an account over there. Now, I will we'll select my spreadsheet. Ours is called Manage WP Users. Our worksheet is called Sheet 1. And if you need to know what that is, that is this sheet at the bottom over here. I haven't re renamed it to anything, so that's going to stay Sheet 1. And then the trigger column is fine as it is. Let's continue. Great. And as you can see, it has picked up a sample and it has found my user. Great. Let's continue. Okay. So next up, it wants us to add an action. What must it do with this data? So you can just go add a step or click over here to continue. And from this point, we are going to search for webhooks by Zapier. So that's what we're going to be using. You can select the post. All right. Under URL, we're going to head back to our site. We're going to go to our settings, Zapier settings, receive data from Zapier, copy this webhook URL. And we're just going to paste that there. Now, in our data fields, we want to actually set up the update user action. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are going to say action update user. And now we're going to want to include all of the fields in our Google Sheet to match this update action. So let's go ahead and select our email. We're going to add a new column username and 
And then you can just go ahead and do this for each and every column that you want to pull data from into your WordPress site. Great, now once that has been set up, you're just gonna go over to your continue. Okay, it looks like it's found our data and let's do a test. Great, so it looks like the test was successful. A test post was sent to webhooks by Zapier just now. Let's go ahead and finish. Great, and we are now ready to turn on our Zap. So let's go ahead and name this to update user and let's turn it on. And as you can see here, that this Zap will run every five minutes and it will check our sheet to see if there's any new data and then pull it into our WordPress site. Okay, great, so here we are, our Zap is ready, it's on. We have run a test previously and it said it was successful. So what's really nice about the update user action in the plugin that we've built is that if this user doesn't exist, there's nothing to update, it will create this user. So you can actually use this to create users, update them right from this Google Sheet. So let's head over now to our WordPress site and let's go and check to see if the user was created. As you can see over here, we have a Travis Lima user that was created with a first and last name, the right email address and a role. Now let's say we want to just change up the details of this user real quick. So I want to change my name to Trevor, Trev, Trevor and my last name to Doe and I am going to give myself a new email address, hello at trav.com, and I'm gonna head over to my Zapier dashboard, and if you recall, this will run in five minutes from now, but if I want to run it sooner, I can just go and manually run it like this. As you can see that there was looking for a new item, one new item was found, and this has been posted. So let's go back to our WordPress site, and we're going to refresh and there we go as you can see username stayed the same my first and last name has changed and my email address has changed too so that's it guys thank you very much for watching i hope you found this tutorial helpful as you can imagine there is a ton of things that you can do with zapier and this add-on so if you have any further questions or queries please get in touch with us we'll be more than happy to help and uh, we hope to push out a couple of videos with some more use cases soon so stay tuned for that